Let's look at another miracle to start our week. We've just finished in Capernaum uh, for this time at least. And then it says right after we read about the healing of uh, Peter's mother-in-law and the people that all the townspeople brought for him to heal, it says in verse 35 of Mark chapter 1, very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got up. He left the house and went to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went looking for him. Jesus, where, where did he go? He's not, he's not in his bed. And when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone's looking for you. Everyone's looking for you, of course. Everyone wants something from Jesus. And Jesus replied, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to one of the other villages nearby so that I can share the good news there too, because that's why I came. You know, it's, it's great to do these miracles, and uh, but these miracles are temporary. Every person that Jesus healed died. And it doesn't even give us any reason to believe that they live longer than average life expectancy. Physical healing is temporary. It's a great blessing, but it's temporary. Jesus said, I need to go to these other villages because I have a message of healing that is eternal healing. And I want them to hear that. And so they, they went. He traveled through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues, driving out demons. It says in verse 40, a man with leprosy came to him. Ooh. Leprosy, the dreaded disease, not allowed to come close, calling out, begging him on his knees from a distance, socially distancing for sure. If you are willing, you can make me clean. And it says in, in this uh, NIV that I'm reading from, Jesus was indignant. In my, uh, in my regular Bible, I'm, I'm reading from my, uh, from my iPad. In my regular Bible, it says Jesus was filled with compassion. When it says Jesus was indignant, I think he was indignant at the disease. I think he was indignant at the, the way the lepers were treated. I think he was indignant at this obvious uh, characterization of sin, visible evidence of sin that tore this man's body apart. Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand. Now, Jesus does heal. In many ways, we, we looked at just a few devotionals ago, twice when Jesus just gave the word, 20 miles away, some other distance away, gave the word, and the healing took place. Seemed like this would be a good time to just speak the word and let, let the healing carry out over a little distance, but no. This was a leper. Jesus had a visual illustration to give here about more than healing, compassion. He said, I am willing. He reached out his hand and touched the man and said, be clean. Let there be light. Let there be plants. Let there be animals. Let there be, let there be at God's word, it comes into creation. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. He says to the man, be clean. Be clean, not just from leprosy. Be clean. Be whole. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. And then Jesus sent him away. It says with a strong warning. Don't tell anybody what I just did. Just go, show yourself to the priest, take the required offering and sacrifices that Moses commanded, and just go and live your life. And the, the man disobeyed. He couldn't contain himself. Instead, he went out and he began telling everybody, spreading the news, and as a result, Jesus had to leave. Jesus had to leave town. Uh, he no longer could go into the towns openly. He had to preach outside the city gates. He had to preach out in the, the suburbs. But still, it says the people came to him. You know, I can't blame the man. 
if you've been healed from an illness, miraculously healed from an illness, you're going to tell your friends and family and anyone who wants to listen. Are you as anxious and willing to tell others what Jesus has done for you spiritually? Are you willing to tell them, Jesus has healed me from a disease that would have resulted in eternal death. And he has given me in its place eternal life. Are you willing to share the good news? I guess the question is, is it really good news in your heart? Has it really hit you what Jesus has done for you? And if it has, how can you not share that with those around you? They should be able to tell by the look on your face that something has happened. Jesus has touched me. He has made me whole. He has cleansed me and given me new life here and for eternity. I love the miracles of Jesus. I love the miracle of what he's done for me because I was dead and I am alive in him. All right. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on Wednesday. God bless.